Okay. I had okay, my, we're my good. cool guy face on. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Um, so there was one other detail uh, of this uh, upcoming ride that I did not share on air. Um, as you're planning what exactly to do, how to take the barbers out, you get a, uh, a message that the townsfolk are also planning on uprising against the barbers. They also don't like uh, everything that's been going on. And while that might sound helpful, they're um, blocking the barbers from leaving. Uh, the barbers having seen what's coming and planning to leave. Uh, meaning that in order for the barbers to try to escape, there will have to be a lot of casualties. So... Uh, I've got uh, a cute little diorama of the town uh, okay. that I just happen to have prepared. And so I'm like, all right, here's the barbershop. Here's the townsfolk. Uh, and then the mercy givers come in from behind. We're up on the rooftops for anybody who tries to pop out the sides. Bing, bang, boom. We kill everyone in the building and take all their stuff. Any questions? Just one. Are we intending for... And I think, you know, as Seth's talking, he's starting to knock over some of the, the civilian pieces of, of this diorama off. <laughs> to kill off a good chunk of the population in the, the process of this? Uh, it's I mean, not the goal. If we want to do the corporation's dirty work, I'm sure that's a great first step. But I assumed we were going to pretend to be good guys for at least a little bit longer. Well, if you want to just walk out there and stand in between uh, all these angry townsfolk and this armed gang that hates us, uh, you're welcome to head out there first thing. But I'd recommend sticking to the plan if you want to keep your own hide. The people... We need to basically establish right now we're the ones in control. That this mob justice BS is not going to play out. Make an example of the barbers, show them that we are the biggest, baddest dog in town, and they'll fall in line. That's my plan. We <laughs> execute them all. Let's do it without that many casualties. <laughs> well, that's going to make things a lot harder. Well, more so, now they're going to consider themselves as helpers. And they're going to want to share the loot. They're going to probably get first dibs because they're down at the ground. Even That's if we don't want to point. pretend to be humanitarians, let's look at this at least practically as well. Yeah, we don't want any looters. We are considering divvying up the barbershop stuff for our gang and the carrion. Mm. So we're going to want... And I, I start like moving stuff around on the table. We're going to want to get the barbers out of the barber shop and take them out in the streets and leave the barber shop under our control so that means we're going to have to help arrange their escape it can't just be an arranged escape they need to be somehow publicly executed that is yeah. pretty much the the way that everyone's going to get know that we're serious so, if we can provide them, secretly, a way for them to escape, like, say, this corporate truck that's all shot full of holes, we load them into the truck by, through a third party, and they start driving away to safety, then we catch them on their way out of town, blow them up. I dramatically toss the little truck miniature <laughs> across the room. Actually, so we want to publicly blow them up secretly outside we want to of town? publicly blow them up after secretly helping them get away from all the valuable stuff that we want to keep. It's, it's like the, the old magic trick. You just, you know, think that they're in one area and they're in another area. We just switch them at some point. Does all that right. sound like a plan? So we're killing them all. Oh yeah, no survivors. <laughs> we're killing them all so that they will listen to us. All right. No, 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 the barbers. We're killing all the barbers. The, the civilians are here. Barbers <laughs> over here. 
Look at the miniatures here. I put the <laughs> truck back on the table. Barbara's in the truck. All right. People over here. Yeah. Blow up the truck. How how do we blow up a truck? I assumed you'd you just like pull out a stick of dynamite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Martin walks <Bob>! in. <laughs> What if there's that unfinished road that goes above the town? The freeway. Yeah. Yes. So I mean that's the, very public. If we if we could use roadblocks and chase them, potentially we could get them up on the freeway and force them to drive right off the unfinished section. That would be a dramatic finish. Okay. I, I'll look at the, the town map. I presume Doc had the foresight of putting this sweet freeway ramp on here. Oh, absolutely. What, what's <laughs> what's under the freeway ramp? Uh, are we in danger of blowing something cool up? Or, like, people's houses or something? No, it's um, actually mostly flooded out there. Oh, nice. Oh, perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, I Anthony just got... shrugs, and he's like, all right, you guys do the thinking. Yeah, I think that's... that's... That's, this way we don't have to risk blowing it up, something up in the middle of town. We make it real obvious that we're the ones who did it. And all the loot, I pat the uh, the barbershop, stays safe. I think that's the uh, the perfect plan. I love that you have a miniature barbershop to, like, <laughs> my pretty... Is that your hobby? Is, like, painting <laughs> these? Like, yep, yep. <laughs> How much time did you spend on this? <laughs> I, I could help. <laughs> I also love that um, Doc was like, okay, I need specialists. I need to get everyone together. We'll form a, the best gang. All right, plan one, explode everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> plan two, question mark. <laughs> it takes skill. All right. Mm -hmm. so, All right. Sounds good. So step one, we've got to get somebody sneaky um, who's going to volunteer to secretly arrange for the barbers to end up with this armored truck. I can be sneaky. <laughs> All right, Seth, that's on you. <laughs> Part two, we then, uh, as they're they're driving out of town, we've got to set up roadblocks uh, to divert them towards the freeway bridge. Uh, I can do that with the help of uh, the, the rest mm -hmm. of the gang. Part three, we need someone you chase them on motorcycles to force them to drive up the ramp and off the bridge. I think we can probably all do that. Uh, part four, profit. Sounds good. <laughs> all so, right. uh, what kind of engagement role are we looking at? So, uh, sounds like you're all starting on your bikes. Mm -hmm. uh, so, that's one die for that. Uh, I think... I don't know if is it over or particularly bold or daring. Um, I think so. <laughs> We're sure. trying to get them to drive off a freeway ramp. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I think so. That's another die. I think it is, however, overly complex and contingent on many factors. What? Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, does it expose the vulnerability of their target or hit them where they're weakest? Um. Not yet, uh, but Seth, are you going to use uh, some of your insider contacts to uh That's, I think, arrange uh, what would, would be, yeah, the, the arrangement of the meeting and all that is, is to use, uh, wow. He just used the word use. <laughs> You're going to use um, your friend? <laughs> You're one step closer to Doc. <laughs> I come to mutual beneficial agreements. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to convince Alexa to, to get me in contact with the right people to pull this off. Okay. So... I don't think they're especially strong or weak against this, so, uh, but your friend or contact is providing aid or insight. Are, enemy, are enemies or rivals interfering? Um, I suppose the barbers count as an enemy or rival who is interfering. And we've got the mercy givers helping, if that counts for anything. Yeah, that's true. So I guess that that's a wash. Uh, so that would be another element to consider. The mercy givers... Um, you can pull in as like a flashback or anything, or I can introduce them like when the time arrives because uh, they're not explicitly part of the plan. So I think it's two dice. Yeah. Uh, Doc, it's your plan if you want to roll it. Sure. 
see how this all goes wrong. Six. Oh, okay. All right. It's a um, new number. Yeah. <laughs> That's not a good sign. That just means everything else is going to go bad. No. Um... Right. So, um, I think we kind of uh, skip some of the dialogue that happens between Seth and Lexa. Um, and some of the switching and swapping that uh, happens to the uh, members of the Barbers. Um, they are an account as an equivalent tier to you, um, even though they were tier one. Well, I guess they might even be lower because you killed a bunch of them. They might be roughly tier zero. And um, we uh, executed their leader and we have the special ability. Right, exactly. So because you killed so many of them, they're probably tier one. And then because you executed their leader, it brings them up to zero. Um, so, uh, yes, it's not too difficult to convince them that you are willing to help even, like, settle this war. Uh, you, if you get, like, if you get out of town, we'll consider this business done. Uh, we've even had this truck for you. Um, the, uh, there are a number of townspeople who are blocking you, um, like kind of blocking the exit so i think that's kind of where we pick up is um the truck is loaded up and leaving the barber shop so were there two trucks involved there's one there's a, there's only one truck in the current okay. part of the plan all right well we i'm assuming there's about to be later. a huge prestige style flashback yeah, so yeah there's there's gonna be some flashbacks here yeah right <laughs> sure. okay so uh the truck is leaving um townsfolk are throwing things at it uh that kind of thing um, Seth is probably sneaking out from the barbershop, having just arranged this plan. Oh, hold on, uh, wrong, wrong goggles. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> sneaking goggles, there yes. you go. Um, and the rest of you are uh, kind of watching and laying your, seeing how your plans uh, roll out. There is a clash of thunder. Uh, a storm is coming. Uh, I'm gonna we, walkie talkies are an appropriate tech level here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm I, I radio to all the 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 roadblocks and I'm like, every everything's still in position. Yes, boss. We might have a slight problem. What's that? Over. The townspeople are blocking the uh, truck from leaving. Can't the barbers do anything about that? They're supposed to be a tough gang, aren't they? I'll I'll take care of it. <laughs> um Let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to make this So I have this this nice neat little ability called center of attention. Mhm. Mm um, so you can grit your teeth to do one of the following. Gain the complete attention of everyone within shouting distance, appear as a similar threat as a small gang, or temporarily sway the opinion of anyone within shouting distance who has a neutral, better relationship with you. Okay. Um, yes, so the townsfolk definitely have a good relationship with you. We need to mark load. Ooh! Yes, I always forget. So we're intentionally going to be intimidating them and driving them out, so I think... Uh, the three of us are probably all in heavy. Seth, you might be. Seth is probably in light because he's supposed to be sneaky right now. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think of, of how, how am I going to intimidate the townsfolk or am I going to convince them, like, just step back and, and watch the fireworks. Um, and I think, um, yeah, Seth will, will kind of, you know, roll forward on his bike and and kind of hold up a hand and, and get everyone's attention and let it through okay um, and he's kind of pushing to basically hopefully sway them of like someone that looks like they're in charge is, is saying what to do maybe right okay yeah so that sounds like a, a an action a swear a command okay fair um, and then you get the extra die for gritting your teeth. 
And then, so that'll be, that sounds like, I guess, a sway? Sure. Heck yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll position an effect. Oh, uh, so, um, controlled and then great because of your special ability. Heck yeah. Alrighty. Let's go. Okay, yeah, that's a four. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, uh, as you, you raise your hand to command attention, uh, the winds pick up and carry your voice, uh, and it seems especially ominous. Um, <laughs> so I, like, I didn't know I had it in there. Yeah. Uh, lightning flashes kind of behind you, and everyone looks in your direction. Um, however, uh, not, um, a couple of them, like, have not heard you in time and have thrown things at the truck. Um, and one of them has like a big sharp, uh, like a pry bar or something like that. That they've thrown at the truck and torn a big hole, like in the side of the truck. I would like to resist that. Um, so what that be? That's uh, I guess insight Probably, to catch yeah. that they were doing it in time. Right. Yep. Yeah. Insight. I think. Uh, so that would be two die. You're, uh, also on your bike. Oh, yeah, so that gives me an extra one, right? Yep, the free wear. Which would be huge. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll just take the the wear then, yeah, so Um, Yeah, Yeah, I'll take the the wear then. Cool. Yeah, so from atop your bike, you see this happening, and you quickly gun down to, uh, intercept. Um, Yeah, that's Actually, maybe it's more like, uh, yeah, you rev your bike and and cause this person to freeze, and they don't throw yeah. it. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and maybe your bike makes a kind of dangerous noise that it's not supposed to. That's. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> that. Oh no, that's not. And it's good. backed up There's... by the thunder in the background. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's All right. So the they they. Uh, create a gap and let the truck go um, and kind of eye you suspiciously um, but they're willing to like listen, uh, it's clear that you've got some kind of plan and uh, yep yeah. alright, truck's pulling through roadblock's in position get, everybody get on your bikes Seth, catch up <laughs> alright not even answering <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, so the truck goes along the route that you have planned. Uh, the winds are picking up, though, uh, and it's having trouble driving. Uh, the hurricane is hitting. Um, and uh, some of the roadblocks are starting to, like, the, the water is starting to rise and debris is starting to flow uh, and knocking some of the roadblocks out of the way, and they're going to, like, blocking the path that you want to take. All right, uh, so I assume I hear about this over the through walkie-talkie. You can probably see it from wherever you are at this point. Oh, we got like some high ground. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, um, is the is the water low enough that I can still bike over there and help? Yeah. Okay, so I will bike over and uh, to the to the roadblock, uh, mm-hmm. and then I'm just gonna like command them to get it back in position. Okay, yeah, the, the truck is approaching, though, so this is going to be risky to get it done before uh, the truck arrives. Fair enough, but standard effect? Uh, yes. All right. Uh... Six. Okay, yes. Uh, so, yes, you are able to um, uh, get some roadblocks around and go around some of the debris. Um yeah, the water hasn't risen high enough that you can't ride. Um, maybe some of the low-lying sections it has, and you have to like take higher, higher roads. Um, yeah. So so far they're going the route that you had planned. At, at what point do you s- step forward and attack or act or whatnot? So uh, our thinking is that the last roadblock that like forces them up onto the freeway, and that's mm-hmm. obviously the point where they would go, no, this isn't getting us anywhere, and that's when the headlights come on and we rush them from behind. Okay, I see. 
Yes. So, um, yeah, the wind is uh, shaking everything. Um, as they approach the freeway, uh, they can see the upper end that's kind of unsupported is kind of rocking in the winds. Uh, and they stop, like, not wanting to go that way, trying to find a way over a uh, different blockade to just, like, drive through it or over it if they have to. All right. So I say this at this point, we all turn on our headlights and group action command them to go forward by just scaring the shit out of them. Uh, maybe okay. even fire off some guns. Uh, all right. I assume we've got access to some. <laughs> we brought guns, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> no, this was all part of the plan. Doc, yeah, I only listened to the plan. You didn't say bring gun. <laughs> Alright. Um, yes, yeah, so... To... Uh, yeah, convince them to go up this, like, dead end that they know they won't survive from uh, is going to be... Um, I think risky you're not like in the thick of it yet and uh starting out as limited okay so um uh, first uh i would want to trade position for effect by going up closer like driving okay. up like towards the the driver's side window firing uh -huh. shots to not kill the driver but close enough that he's thinking it mm -hmm. sure uh to try and put him into a panic so that should okay. get us up to uh desperate normal yes desperate standard yeah. That's what standards. So to get them to really go up, you're going to need great effect, though. Otherwise, okay. they'll like go up part way or try to find another way off halfway up or something like that. And so uh, I'm thinking I'll lead the group action, and uh, then I can push for effect. No, someone has to assist you for effect. Ah, okay. Then uh, can someone scare them? Um. Yeah, I was thinking could. Would there be a way, could I uh, assist by way of, um, like, this hurricane's moving in and everything? Um, and I assume they've been moving towards higher ground. Um, mm -hmm. Right, they're trying to outrun the hurricane, too. Right, exactly. So, like, they're running up towards this hurricane, or, like, towards the higher ground because the low-lying ground is already kind of getting swamped. Mm -hmm. um, and can I just assist by, like... I mean, I guess they're ready to, like, blow through a barrier or something like that. Um, I guess that might not make sense. I was wanting to say, like, make sure they know that the hurricane's, like, blocking off their path or they need to, like, hurry or, like, mm -hmm. get to somewhere that's more sheltered. You could have the uh, the one-headed one -headed robo-panther jump up on top of the barricade in front of them. Yeah, do that. Robo okay, you have to specify that it only has one head. <laughs> <laughs> so far. Right. Um, that definitely, yeah, that would work. I could yeah. see how well we control this thing yet. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, so it leaps up threateningly. Um, and they swerve, and uh, let's see if they swerve in the right direction. All right. So uh, I will, I guess, uh, grip my teeth for dice. Okay, yep. So that's uh, 3d6. Desperate great. Uh, unless uh, there's a, de a Devil's Bargain, anybody? Nah, just roll it. Yeah. I'm say, not that I can think of. Five. Okay. So, uh, take up the fuse clock. Fuse wheel. Yeah. Um, right, so... Uh, you're right next to the driver's side. <clears throat> and, um... The, uh... Yeah, so... Remember that these are the barbers who have fun with experimental mods. Uh, and he is able to keep one eye on the road while also keeping an eye on you. Because of <laughs> special eyes. Um... <laughs> and, uh... You, like... He realizes he's nowhere to go um, and continues straight, but uh, is able to pull out a gun to shoot back. Okay. Yep. So, I think um, he would probably aim especially for your bike. So, I think your bike is shot. 
out okay. like uh, you know broken bike as a long term setback. setback yep all right uh i will check off where okay so hopefully that makes it short term right right so uh yeah you managed to spin it and not hit a vital section of your bike um and i think your uh you have like a cut fuel line so you're not going to be able to go as uh like as far or as fast but you're able, still able to control okay this should be the easy patch later yep as long as i'm not you know caught in a flood and die out here <laughs> exactly right <laughs> we'll see you can swim right <laughs> <laughs> So, but we've successfully, with great effect, driven them up the uh, the freeway. Right. Yep. Um. So, uh, are you following up the freeway? Uh, yeah, I think so. We got to push them right yeah. up to the edge. Yeah. So, through all this great effect, um, you push them uh, straight forward. Um, and you're getting close to the edge, and they don't seem to be showing any signs of slowing down. Um. Uh, and then at some point you trigger uh, explosives, or are you just going to let them drive off? I think we'll just let them drive off. Drive off and then explosives in the air, I thought was the, the, the that ultimate. That would be, yeah, oh yeah, that would be cool. Um, All right. Does somebody want to uh, flashback, acquire, asset, a uh, rocket launcher or something? <laughs> It'd be uh, pretty cool. If we have crew script, I have none. Yeah, so uh, yeah. I'd say that's worth spending a crew script. It'll probably give us more rep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that seems reasonable. Yeah. Um, and okay. Anthony so is... So I will check off a crew script, and then do you roll to acquire asset? Um, nah. I think... Okay. Like, you probably should, but I think it, you're going to get some type of rocket launcher one way or another. Um, sure. Just needs to work once. Right. Yep. Uh, and maybe... You know, actually, yeah. why don't you roll uh, tier, and you're going to get it either way, but uh, depending on the cost of um, like, uh, who you get it from, basically. One. All right. Uh, yeah, so um, I'll decide later, but you get this from someone who uh, maybe like steal this from someone or someone who really <laughs> doesn't want you to have it. Uh, so there's going to be some problems after the fact for this. All right. Mm. As it's getting... Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, no, no, go ahead, yeah. Yeah, no, as it's getting towards the end of the freeway, uh, you look down and see people standing on roofs watching uh, binoculars, trying to, like, shelter themselves from the wind and rain. Sweet. On the outside. <laughs> right. Not real shelter, spectacle shelter. Exactly. <laughs> uh, as it's getting to the very peak... Um, lightning flashes and uh you hear the roll of thunder and then in the silence afterwards you hear a loud uh speaker voice coming over like a megaphone uh shouting uh, a vast <laughs> uh, yes. suddenly and um the uh truck goes oh, flying no. off the edge of the uh of the you know bridge, whatever, the freeway, and you see in the flooded section below a large barge <laughs> waving uh, the pirate flag of the bottom feeders, uh, and it is going to land on this barge, and they're going to escape unless you do something. Flashback. <laughs> Can we use the rocket launcher? Yeah, we haven't used the rocket launcher yet. Can you wait till it lands on the barge to use the rocket launcher? I mean, we what, could just... what was our standing with the bottom feeders? Uh, Poor. Oh, okay, yes. yeah. <laughs> Wait until it lands. Go for it. <laughs> so, uh, flashback to voiceover. Now, the thing about normal explosions is they're very unimpressive. They, there's a concussion shockwave, and they're not much to look at. Which is why a truck full of people would not be the best thing to blow up in front of a bunch of people. And it's, it's flashback to, instead of, you know, people in there, it's now loaded with, you know, cans of gasoline and all that in the back of this semi-truck, so it'll make a nice, works. beautiful fireball explosion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what would that cost me? What do I have to do? <laughs> yeah. So on the one hand, this was part of your plan from the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, 
but also uh, I think that's still going to be too stressed to like get all the like get the truck set up and everything. I uh, I also am curious: is this Seth's plan or is this the gang's plan? Do the rest of us know? I think this is Seth's plan. Okay. Okay. Because maybe that also in that flashback is yeah. Seth telling the rest of the uh, the barbers with with Lex and all that to stand down, wait till everyone's looking another direction, and that's when they quietly left town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this all is right. Seth's plan. This is him going rogue. <laughs> okay, I like this. Guess going so. Rogue. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I think it would have been more stress if you hadn't rolled well on your engagement and, like, they were buying it and everything. Because then they would also have been more convincing. So, uh, yes. Are you fighting a rocket launcher at this? Yeah, yep. I, I guess so. We... So... Anthony really <laughs> doesn't know what's happening, I, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Uh... I'm still not sure if there are people on the truck, if there, what's going on. Well, there and... definitely is. The, the guy in the driver's seat shot my bike. At least one that's, person. Yeah, I hate that, that guy. That's true. Yeah, I, <laughs> he was the sacrifice. I was just light. told <laughs> that you shoot rocket at a truck. You that's what you do. You unloaded everybody out of the back of the truck without telling him just because he's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you guys like the least? Um, <laughs> right. Yeah, so I'll I'll try to uh, utilize my uh, shoot skill to mm -hmm. uh, I I'm gonna shoot the um, the truck, but I want to wait until it's like about to land on the barge, so it's like a ball of fire into the barge, mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know. We can deal with the bottom feeders later if they get hurt, like whatever. Right. I think this is gonna be desperate limited though, because you are trying to fire a rocket during a hurricane. You know, that's reasonable. Um, I will assist for effect by pointing out where he should shoot for maximum effect. Okay. Uh, um, see. I think... Yeah, so I think you're going to have to be, like, right up with him. Uh, yeah. And kind of sharing some of the consequences if that happens. Fair. This is going to hurt. I... So will... Unless there's a devil's bargain, I will I will grit my teeth. Um, if it would make sense, whoever we got the rocket launcher from could mm. care about this in some way. But if not, that's just... So, we have not heard from Kiki at all. So, I'm wondering <laughs> if... Uh, there's a good reason we have not heard from Kiki at all. And uh, since this was Seth going rogue, uh, Kiki is down there. And so I'll, I would need Kiki's approval for this as well. I think maybe, you, like, if you take this, you heard about the, the bottom feeders are coming and tried to cut them off. Hmm. And so the, the devil's bargain is she's, like, in the blast radius? Uh, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Not, did like, we, actually. Did we steal the rocket launcher from the bottom feeder? And so I'm looking out <laughs> to see maybe. if they're coming? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Going rogue has consequences. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> So this that's... is why the architect comes up with plans, not the uh, confidant. <laughs> uh -huh. Lean in, make things worse. That's that's <laughs> the devil's bargain. Yeah, and I, I I see you hesitating, and I'm just like, do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine with that, Kiki? I guess. You're down somewhere beneath the truck, like <laughs> in the model. It's like flashback right. to Anthony. Like, is there anything important under the bridge? I need to know that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> okay. love I, you, uh... <laughs> I don't know if I can trust Doc. I think this is the story of how we we <laughs> learned to throw a coup. Um, <laughs> so 2d6, desperate, normal? Is that where we got to with the, all of this? Yes. Yep. Oh, you only have one in shoot? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> Alright. Good at anything? 
Okay. <laughs> Come on, we're playing Blades in the Dark. Six. Nice hey, okay. there we go. Yeah. Oh. So, um, you managed to account for the wind and wait for a calm moment. Um, I kind of wish you critted because that would have also been just like even cooler. But uh, yeah, so you hit the truck. Um, just as lightning strikes uh, the boat. Um, <laughs> and there's a big explosion, and uh, um, I think as a, a sort of complication, even though you rolled a six, um, a lot of the townsfolk who were watching are like now kind of blind to what's going on. <laughs> um, but yes, there is a huge explosion uh, envelops the truck, uh, takes a significant portion of the boat and lights it on fire. Um, and Kiki, you are, I think there's like a, um, like a service road that's kind of raised that runs parallel to the um, freeway. So you are like right nearby. <clears throat> you are like uh, also kind of blinded by this explosion right in front of you and shrapnel is falling all around you. Um, so I think, yeah, uh, Kiki, I think you get like a short-term setback uh, as part of the um, Devil's Bargain of like uh, Hail of Fire or something like that. <laughs> You're pulling your punches. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it was a six, so oh. if it was less than a six, it would not have been. I can give you more. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, short-term consequence, is the score over? The ride? So, um... Perhaps. So I think the bottom feeders will, like, immediately respond, though. So, uh, they are panicking and putting their boat out. Uh, I guess the fire goes out pretty quickly because it's raining. Um, you what? You got very excited. Is there one wearing like a captain's hat or looks like they're the leader? Yes. Kiki, grab him. Grab him now. <laughs> we have to end this. <laughs> uh huh. Yes, he's the he one with the big bull horn shouting. Yep, shouting a vest. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, it's like a, a relatively modern day barge, but they've got big like cannons that they've put on it um, to. Uh, point towards, and they point it towards the freeway, because they see that you are all on top of it. Uh, and they, the first one fires and a rocket comes out and impacts on the freeway. Uh, and they're trying to take out the freeway with you on top of it before they leave. Oh no. And uh, I say, I think it's time to go! <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna try to direct us back down the freeway while Kiki takes care of the barge. <laughs> well, Someone right, had so... a parachute. Who has a parachute? I'm just curious. Oh, that's true. You do have... It's a... I have a hang glider, and no, you do not use that during a hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's fair. I double talk, dare you. No. <laughs> I will, however... Okay. It's immediately, doubles, everyone else is up to doing their own thing. I will immediately, uh, yeah, like Doc starts revving his engine and like does a quick skid, like whips the back end of his around and like peels away. Uh, I don't know what Seth's uh, doing. Actually, I, I'm pretty much just in neutral because my gas line's still cut, so I'm just rolling down the hill. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, I do similar, uh, but maybe like, uh, a quarter mile down the thing, the ramp, uh, mm -hmm. Anthony, like, skids uh, the opposite way, uh, and I'm going to fly towards the, the ramp, and clearly they set the barge up to be landed on, so <laughs> it's a uh, simple maneuver to just right, of launch my bike onto it. That's a pretty simple maneuver. Go for it. I think that's <laughs> um, desperate great. <laughs> And Seth's like riding away, and he's just like, "Wait, why is he turning around?" Wait, no. 
why, why is no one going with my plan that I told no one about? <laughs> <laughs> Just works that way sometimes. Um, I say, Seth, don't worry about it. <laughs> He's got this. Any uh, any potential bargain there? Um. <laughs> Your bike could get stuck where it lands. <laughs> stuck in the bike. Hitting the ground pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, well, I was thinking, like... Um... No, I'm having trouble thinking of something. Uh, how about the intensity of the hurricane? Is this something? Okay. Um... Yeah, basically... Like the hurricane picks up, and anyone who is like out of doors has is in risk of being blown away. Okay, sure. And like the swell is getting to us yeah. and everything. Yeah. I'll take that. Uh, that's okay. gonna be three dice then. I'm good at this. This is what I actually do. Yeah. No, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. But you say that right this. as you turn around. As, as you're about to launch yourself directly into the flooded district to die, um, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, nice I'm going air. to activate not gonna take it. And so I'm checking off my special armor box. Uh, and so as you're turning around, and I, I just like pat you on the shoulder and I say, go get him. And that motivates you to upgrade your one to three roll into a four slash five. Amazing. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's that's a very nice thing to have. Yes, it is. <laughs> very well timed. Okay. Uh, oh, and that was still a desperate roll, uh, so we increase the fuse. Yeah, you're still gonna get hit hard, but at least you're yeah, gonna land right. on the boat. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a couple of the people down below are starting to regain their vision, and they just see like the scene from ET. It's just like this bike <laughs> just riding across the, the like moon. <laughs> Um, no. uh, and then, like, a lightning bolt <laughs> strikes you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you take the long-term setback uh, electrocuted um, and land on the uh, barge, sprawled, your bike goes skidding off uh, into the water. Um, <clears throat> uh, and no one was expecting it, and they like all begin to panic and try to spin the cannons around and figure out what to do. And to their own your ship. Like yeah. <laughs> These guys are crazier than us. Uh, yes. <laughs> where's Where's Kiki around here? Yeah. How far is the barge from where I am? Um. Not Explosion too far. distance. Yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you probably want to check off where to keep your bike from going in the water, just because otherwise you lose wear anyway. Uh, yeah, can I check wear off uh, and have my bike go into the water and just, like, cream a guy who had a cannon, who was manning a cannon and just, like, knock a dude into the water? It's just cooler. Um, I don't know how many guys there are. If there are, if there are threats and that's a bigger problem, just cinematically, I think it looks funnier. Yeah, so... Yeah, if you took where you've managed to fling your bike into a person instead of into the water. Like that. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, I want to get on the boat. Okay. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't intend to make it as dramatic <laughs> as that. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I, I do want to get on the boat to, to back Anthony up. Okay. So, um... Well, that's ironic. I came to back you up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you threw yourself more into danger. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's a, uh, you're going to have to, like, jump a small gap to get on the boat. Okay. Uh... You have I the cool take... water floaties on your boat, or er, on your you boat, have... your motorcycle. You that's true. Uh, can go short distances across the yeah, water. Yeah, so you can just do that to get on if you want. Yeah, uh, I think I'll... That requires you to take your wear. Uh, okay. Because, yeah, these are damaging to your bike, but... Yeah, that's better than rolling. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. 
<laughs> because you've got the short term setback of the random fire or hail of fire, um, uh, you uh, like the fire is not out and you get caught on fire <laughs> as you're going. Like a piece of ember like lands on you. Mm -hmm. um, so I think you can change that to a long term setback of uh, like burn on fire. On fire. Burned. You're, you're gonna get burned out immediately, but you're still long term burned. on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Every ride just in flames. Yeah. I become okay. Ghost Rider. Oh wow. <laughs> exactly. All right, Good. but yeah, you are now on the uh, barge. You both of you are. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's a handful of pirates uh, pulling out like <laughs> scimitars and guns and trying to point these cannons and it's all very like cyberpunk modded guns and scimitars like but they're still very much uh, in the vein of pirates mm -hmm. uh... I am going to fight my way to Anthony okay and I'm going to take off a large weapon because I have my sword. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. And I am. What? What is? What is my positioning? Desperate. Um. Yeah, I think. Just to, like, get to Anthony, I think is risky standard. Okay. If you want to like uh, then, cause a lot more havoc on the way, you can trade position for effect. Uh, yes, I do want to do that. <laughs> yep. Uh, and I will expend my special armor to grip my teeth during a fight. Mm -hmm. uh, to give myself an extra die, and so I roll three d six. And I'm not gonna jinx myself like Travis did. Um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Sure about that? <laughs> How sure about that are you? <laughs> does that count as jinxing yourself? Yeah, uh, it apparently does. Uh, the dice gods did uh, hear you and and did not <laughs> like that. Yeah, so you Your displeasure has been noted. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so uh, the uh, you stand face to face with a um, one of these like scimitar armed bottom feeders. And uh, he gets knocked aside by this big, bulky uh, guy who's on fire, uh, full of um, barber armor-like body mods, uh, who was driving the truck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, yeah. And oh, no. he, like, picks up the, the in his hands, tiny little scimitar and starts, like, dueling you with your sword. Mm -hmm. Um and and winning so i think you take a long-term setback of uh i think he like takes your hands off you're just trying to make her get a robot hand <laughs> uh, and tells you that he is your father <laughs> no <laughs> that's actually impossible <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll go ahead and resist that. Uh, yeah, okay. Probably with steel. Uh, or with armor. Okay. Three stress. That sounds about yeah, right. He's armor too. Uh, yeah, right. Okay, so you managed to parry. Um, and I think you can resist it all the way, but you haven't made any progress, really. Yeah. So, interesting. Um, yeah. I need to know because we had I had the rocket launcher. Unless like Doc was carrying the rocket launcher, I don't. Do I need to mark load for having oh, had it? Yeah, okay. I would. <laughs> I would count that as like a submachine gun level of load, so three, three load. Okay. Yeah, I can mark that. You can have a gun. Sure. Um. Yeah, so uh, I guess uh, I'm going to mark uh, my submachine gun, which is not currently disabled because of Barber Cheaty Tech, um, mm. or possibly mm -hmm. just a new one because I can't trust that old one anymore. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll pull it out, uh, and I'm going to um, 
uh, deal with the immediate threat, which is a giant guy with a sword. Um, even if he's not necessarily on me. It, unless it's somebody on me that I is going to hinder me from helping Kiki in this way. Um, no, you managed to like surprise them. You rolled a six to get in there suddenly, and, and they're not interfering with you immediately. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, pull out uh, the submachine gun that I came with um, and immediately uh, just turn uh, on this driver who I, I did not expect a barber to be on this ship. Uh, I thought the rocket launcher was a good plan. Um, Doc told me I was killing everybody with it. Um, this is not a dead person. Yeah, well, yeah. One person uh, apparently survived. Apparently, I don't... <laughs> I'm going to grip my teeth uh, mm -hmm. for plus one die, uh, and then I'll be rolling just shoot. Okay. Oh, Lord. 2d6. Much better than 3d6. Trust me. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, All right. Oh, my, oh, no, this is not going well, guys. <laughs> um... I don't think I gave you the position and effect. I was thinking, like, uh, because they're not interfering, it was going to be risky great, so I think it's only a risky consequence. Um, I have a secret for you. Mm -hmm. I'll always go for the position. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, How many so, teams take this now? Uh, <laughs> well, that one was that, that was That one was risky, so that was not a take. But... Um, yeah, so you, uh, hmm, um, I think when you, you landed kind of awkwardly, you had to, like, fish out your submachine gun. It gave them enough time to, uh, like, surround you. Sure. Um, and, yeah, before you can even pull the trigger... Uh, you get the short-term setbacks surrounded. Okay. And <clears throat> the uh, uh, leader in a big old pirate hat uh, points his gun uh, directly at you uh, and says, um, looks like we've got ourselves a hostage. No, so that's, still, boys, that's what we do. We get, uh, to, uh, the barge begins to leave. Kiki, would you like to uh, make the next action? <laughs> uh, if not, I'm totally fine with uh, pointing my gun at this dude. I mean, I can. I feel like we should hear from our other two teammates, see if they're going to do anything. We're, we're still going this. down and around, I think. We're going we're down there. and around. We are far away, guys. Untrustworthy. That's uh, the word I'd you use. You can attempt to catch up faster by maneuvering or something like that. I'm I'm not what you'd call good at anything but like three things, and maneuvering is not one of them. Uh, if, it, <laughs> if you guys need a setup, I could always have the crew show up and remotely mm. command them with oh, via yeah. walkie-talkie. But yeah, with Panther, there's not much point in setting up until you know your position and effect. So you got to try something. Flashback to us finding out that the. Uh, 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 what is it? Wow, bottom feeders are planning on showing up. And we set some chains up in the harbor or something like that or something. I don't know. We could definitely, we, we don't even have a flashback. We just have our gang grab a chain and bike out across or something. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I don't think we need a setup action unless they're not having a good position and effect. Um, it's kind of redundant. Yeah. So I, I don't think there are bad positions and effects in this game. Well, no, we're set then. <laughs> Because um, mm -hmm. I'll immediately point my machine gun uh, at the captain, and obviously there's dudes all around me. Uh, but, you know, that, that happens sometimes. We accept it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And he says the line about, like, looks like we have some hostages. Uh, and I'm going to, like, shout back at him uh, as this, like, horrendous storm is closing in around us, and there's flaming tires floating uh, off the barge from this destroyed uh, semi-truck, and I'm just like, uh, you didn't get the memo, I guess. We don't take hostages. <laughs> Wait, just, I... Oh yeah, don't worry. It's, uh -huh. We'll get there. I would like to 
point out when you kill or capture a leader, all oh, the subordinates act as if their gang was lower, mm -hmm. and those that saw the kill or capture immediately flee. Oh, I'm so gonna try. So you like just pop this dude off. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to roll a desperate great shoot against this guy. Yeah, of course. You can. So will, will great effect take him out? Um. Yeah. I think okay. so. Okay. okay. Um. Would it be a different just? mechanically so i understand because i so far i've only marked submachine gun as the gun i've brought out every time mm -hmm. um would having a different gun that would set my effect at a different level is this how i should understand it yeah right so because you have a submachine gun you can shoot more people i mean this is how real submachine guns work you can <laughs> shoot more people in a shorter period of time uh than say a rifle or pistol um so yeah, you it's not like the best suited for a one on one duel with this captain who's got his gun pointed at you. Okay. Uh, but um you might be able to catch more people in the crossfire as well. Alright, alright. Um Yeah, do you do you would yep. you like to give me a devil's bargain or I'm sure there's plenty waiting on a pirate ship. Yeah, right. Um So yeah, this um, Devil's Bargain is this is not, uh, like, this is, uh, um, hmm. uh, I could be disarmed so, afterwards? The ship could get further away? Yeah, so, uh, ship getting further away is good, or, um, uh, I think, oh, uh, when you shoot, uh, you um, are going to, like, uh, there are too many uh, nearby spectators. Um, and though you won't shoot any of them, you will slight some of the townspeople. Or mm. the boat will get further away. I'll, I'll let you choose which, which of the two. I'd say go for the boat one. Clearing a bunch of slights is going to be expensive. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm fine with us getting, like, dragged away by the drowners. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or the bottom feeders, the excuse bottom me. Feeders. Yes, the drowners was the last campaign I read. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So I'll take that devil's bargain. Uh, that brings me to 2d6. Uh, uh, Kiki's also in a situation to help if if you need more dice. I'm going to hold yeah. off just yet, just okay. in case. Oh, that's my favorite. <laughs> I believe in you this time. Wow, I haven't had belief in me. That's probably what's helping. Oh my gosh. Oh, I even labeled it excellent shooting. <laughs> oh no. Um, yes, so. Plus one uh, XP. You, right, and uh, plus fuse. <laughs> You're going to have the most experience after this. Uh, when to and not to use a submachine gun is the experience that you're getting. <laughs> Apparently so you never. Just, you start shooting wildly, um, and the captain just, like, stares you down, the bullets, like, just going all around and not hitting him. Um, I'll give you that you hit a couple of bottom feeders, uh, and they begin to kind of back off a little bit. Um, but, uh... Oh. Yeah, so... Um, one of them, uh comes up behind you and like uh, body slams you like to the ground uh, yeah so you are disarmed of the submachine gun uh, so that's a short term setback um, either disarmed or like pinned okay um, and uh, the boat gets further away I think you're basically unable to act unless Kiki is somehow able to rescue you. Um, we might have to end this ride with uh, without one of our characters. Kiki, Kiki, save him. This yeah. is not supposed to go this way. <laughs> yeah. Um. So was there only one consequence effectively on there? Uh, basically, you being out of the ride is like the consequence. Like, if... Like, like a like a concede, ish. Like, unless Kiki is able to get you back into the ride, you are out of the ride, basically. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm going to protect him. Okay. Uh, and I have a special ability. When I protect a teammate, I take plus one D to my resistance roll. And I think what this looks like is uh, Kiki kicking the uh, barber. barber into the person who's trying to tackle Anthony. Okay. Um, nice. So that's a steel resist. Mm hmm. One stress. Good. Okay. So, yes, you are not pinned. Uh, you didn't manage to do, accomplish much with your gun, but you are now, uh, like, on your feet still. I think, though, you still do only have, like, one more chance to either kill the captain or get off the boat before you're yeah. kind of too far away. Okay. It's like, I guess this flooded area opens up into like ocean mm -hmm. <laughs> so. let's see while you think about how we want to finish this uh, it might be a tense and dramatic point to take a break yes Fair. cliffhanger yeah. yeah so uh, we'll be back in 5-10 minutes uh, uh, yeah. to conclude the, uh, this riot and then and maybe <laughs> other things oh, we'll see yep all right.